very important because after your semester two you will start applying for jobs as well we talk about in particular about masters in data analytics which are the great colleges or universities here in ireland Hello everybody, welcome back to Living a Little. So today I'm back with another video. If you remember in my last video, I talked about why I have not been making videos so far. So I shifted to a new county and also I found a new job. But today in this video, I'll be talking about which master's degree I chose. So I was doing master's in data analytics. So I'll be sharing details about this particular course with you all because many of you have been asking what are the job opportunities? What are the course contents? What are the basic requirements for this particular course if somebody is coming for masters from non-data analytics background so let's get started i would primarily be focused on my master's course the fees the course structure what all semesters were included and if there were any scholarship before i jump on to my master's degree i'll just give you a little background about myself because many people who transition from various fields they have this question if you can go for this particular course or not maybe my experience would give you an insight about choosing this course so i completed my bachelor's in electronics and communication and i have like around one and a half year of experience working as a developer in india so after that i started applying for master's degree here in ireland i was little late to apply for these master courses here in ireland i don't wanted to go for next and take so dbs was the only option left for me though i had options available for nui galway for the next intake but my idea was to go for september intake so that's the reason i went with this college option i had the prior vision what course i wanted to do and based on the course content dbs was offering it was inclined based on my interest so there is a church besides here and that was the thing from the church i guess it rings every one hour maybe let's wait so now let's talk about the application process for my master's degree. So I applied to DBS college. The application process was very simple. I applied through a counselor. If you need help with counselor with any particular countries, whether it's Ireland, UK, Canada, I'll drop the link in the description below. You can add your details and I'll connect with them. Maybe it will give you some insight on applying to various colleges or universities to them. And it's free of cost. I personally get a lot of insights knowing about various countries my initial plan was to go to canada but based on my discussion with my counselor and doing sort of comparison i was able to choose ireland so if anybody needs any help just reach out to that form i'll help you connect with him so the application process was very simple we just have to submit an offline form wherein you can fill three wherein you can fill three courses so this gives you an option like in case the first course is full or if you are not eligible for that first course maybe the college will consider you for the next course so I applied for data analytics business analytics just two courses because there was no other course which was suitable to my profile or what I was looking for that application form and your resume and transcripts i submitted to the college and within like two weeks i have received the offer letter so the college has given me partial scholarship of thousands euros and i assume most of the people are eligible for that scholarship because most of the people i know they have been receiving this thousand euro scholarship and the course fees was twelve thousand euros i'm not sure if it has increased by now but during september 2019 and take it was twelve thousand euros and since i received thousand scholarships so it was around 11,000 euros and also uh, I have received the conditional offer letter in order to accept I had to pay like 500 euros to confirm my seat and then once I accept I will have to submit I had to submit my I'll score and then so the the application process for this college was pretty direct you can apply on your own as well if you don't want to go through any counselor but it's always good to seek some help when you are not sure about things about new countries and if you are looking for some options with various colleges or universities now let's talk about this particular course who can choose this course and what's the minimum eligibility but because since it's windy so i'm not able to make the video at the moment so let's just go home and talk about this course in details so that you will have a clear vision 
on uh, if this course is right for you and what all course modules you would be studying during your master's degree so i guess you all must know this particular guy uh, i i'm sure he's famous you must have watched his videos guess who comment below if you know him so i couldn't continue the video the yesterday because it was raining and i had to do some grocery shopping and it was already dark and tired so today's friday this is my work setup let me show you guys so this is my work setup at the moment i've just ordered a new table it would be coming like the next week and that's the view from my room so finally now let's talk about the course content for this course in dbs college i will divide all the three semesters so this is a master degree which will help you to gain some in depth knowledge of data analytics which will help you gain employment as a data engineer analytics data science developer hadoop developer or a software engineer or you can work or you can work as a sql developer as well so this course aims to develop learners knowledge into theoretical and practical knowledge of data analytics in particular though the course has basic understanding of data science machine learning or deep learning and into college the assessment works like you have to work on various group projects individual projects and you might have some theoretical examination a few subjects have theoretical but mostly it will be practical knowledge all the lectures have clinical and academic experience so in the minimum eligibility requirement for this particular role into dbs is you need to have 2 to 2 honors which is around 6 to 60 60 to 68 Sixty-nine percent. Like you can just Google around how much two is to two honors is equivalent to your bachelor's degree. I'll score of around six point five. It will. Now let's talk about core modules. So the first one is programming in data analytics. This will be a brief introduction about R programming. Don't worry if you don't have a prior knowledge. This particular course will give you in-depth knowledge of how R programming works and how you can align the usage of R programming to your data analytics and the next core module is statistics for data analytics if you don't have prior knowledge on statistics like i am from a tech background i had basic statistics in during my schooling but not during my bachelor so what i did is i chose few basic programs before joining this master's degree online if you want details on these programs i will drop a short reel on my instagram so make sure you follow me over there and gain some insight before starting this program and talking about this course it will be a balance between r programming or sometimes python and if you don't have a basic understanding of statistics you might struggle while studying your master degree so make sure you're start sorted on your basic end and then start with your master next come is data storage solution for data analytics so this course is basically as the name depicts it depends on how you store data if you fetch data from multiple sources how you are going to fetch and analyze and do some extraction cleaning how you run those analysis is done through and the subject has some understanding of big data as well like hadoop understanding like how big data how do you handle big data and one module was for like how you manipulate data using using sql sql is pretty easy you can learn sql in 2 to 3 days if you don't have prior knowledge i mean if you want you can just hop on to few programs online there are various few free on don't do any paid courses anyway you're paying for your master do these online courses which are free of cost data mining is like uh, we use rapid miner tool to do some data mining you can check online how that tool is used and next uh, this course has some understanding of deep learning uh, used for data science as well so i really enjoyed the end of this course because i gained some insight how you can use machine learning or deep learning because uh, there you can do some comparative analysis of how these two things work next comes is machine learning so the module was divided into two in semester 1 we had machine learning 1 and semester 2 had machine learning 2 the initial task was to develop develops few projects using python programming which is done using python programming for machine learning so there were basic projects if you don't know if you don't know any programming don't worry initially the course course would focus on basics of python and then you will move on to few machine learning projects as well and this was one of my favorite subject because i have developed few of small to large projects using machine learning one is data visualization so to gain insight from data and create stories from data we have used this tool called tableau i'm not sure if now and we have used tableau and uh, this and this course was uh, 
mostly worked on group or individual projects to create some data stories using tableau visualization so these were all the core subjects we have studied during our master's degree between semester 1 and semester 2 and during your course you you will have few subjects like english which is which tells you how do you write dissertation or and the the college has a cv clinic with a dedicated team who helps you to create resume based on irish market make sure you reach out to them on monthly or like in weekly like 2 to 3 week basis so that you know you improve on your skills as well as resume building is very important because after a semester 2 you will start applying for jobs as well and there are there are various career development events happening in the college if you think that's suitable which will help you to gain some skills in your courses make sure you attend them and there is an online app called meetup there are various tech events happening in dublin wherein you can go network with the people around ask them questions about the skills required for a particular job options make sure you sign up for them before covid we used to go for these meetups but during covid everything was virtual but now since everything is back to normal maybe these maybe these meetups will start soon and you some get free free stuff like freebies or some good food so it's a benefit the next come is semester 3 which is dissertation on thesis this is one of the most crucial part of your master degree dissertation provides students with an opportunity to to critically review the literature in any part of the subjects that have been taught during your master's degree so in your semester 1 you can decide which topic you want to choose for your dissertation because that's the ideal time so that in semester 2 you can create research proposal you need to submit the research proposal in semester 2 and for on that research proposal you have to work in semester 3 which is called your dissertation your dissertation is supervised with one of the lecturer he will be helping you with your project once you submit your ideas and dissertation covers about 30 credits so i'll explain your credits for your master degree is divided into two stages stage 1 is your taught subject the core modules which i have discussed previously that covers 60 credits for your master degree and your dissertation is 30 credits so in order to complete your master degree you need to complete your dissertation minimum eligibility otherwise if you don't complete your dissertation you might have to take a post graduate degree so so start working on your dissertation from semester 2 itself So people who are confused what dissertation or thesis is, it's not a research-based project. You have to look online and read some research papers online, and then invent something based on your small research. Like, for an example, I worked on a vis computer vision project. So I started my project when the pandemic started. So I was doing an object detection. I would not go deep into my project, but this is just to give you an overview. It was somewhat a uh, object detection project maybe you will find some resources online on how to do object detection but i just took an example of that object detection and i tried to create my own project using machine learning and deep learning so i combined these two projects and then do some comparative analysis on what's the difference between these two and how the performance works and then i have include my research into something which is already existing So that's how your dissertation works. I hope now you understood how dissertation works. It's all about the master degree program course in TBS and if you want some further details comment below and you can reach out to my Instagram. I I hope I covered all the details and I will create a dedicated video on comparison between data analytics and business analytics. Comment below if you would like to watch that video. And I'll talk about in particular about masters in data analytics, which are the great colleges or universities here in Ireland. I hope you like the video. Stay safe, and I'll be back with another video soon. And now my lunch time is over. Let's go back to work. See you guys in the next video. Bye.